everyone, Brickzonic here and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Pixel Mod Report. The last episode I caught Nihilogo with one Ultra Ball, which is very cool, and now I'm in the middle of Ultra Space. So it will be appreciated if you guys like, comment, share, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell to get updated for more awesome videos. So back to the video. So as you can see, I'm in the Ultra Space right now, and I'm in in Istanbul a lot of end cities and actually got a diamond sword which has a good enchantment on it and I'm gonna loot this end city I just found use this sword to kill some shulkers since my Pokemon can deal damage to them so I'm gonna send out Neuburn so fly me to the bare top of the end city so I won't have trouble jumping and killing a bunch of shulkers and I'm not oh yeah I forgot I also got some good armor on it too so that's why I have to be really careful when fighting these shulkers because I really have a bad armor with me. So let's start with the shulker right here and kill this thing. Ow, ow, ow. That's, that's, that's hurt. That, it's gonna hurt. Okay, this is bad news, guys. Uh, God damn it, it's gonna be hard to get to the top since the shulkers are rapidly firing their midi meteor and also hard to dodge when they get hit and float so yeah this is gonna be hard especially when you get a uh, jump boost from this dimension it's pretty hard to do a parkour in here i mean it's easy that you can now anticipate where you're going to place your water bucket when so you can prevent from fall damage since even though you have slow f falling eff effect, you still get damage from fall damage. So that's the only annoying thing in this in this dimension. Okay, finally found the treasure room, and goddamn it, full of shulkers in there, fighting like five shulkers in here. And I'm surprised I'm still managed to survive in here. Goddamn. And this one is still bulky, you know. A little bit of tanky. I mean, I've been using like diamond, a good enchantment diamond sword, and still. Oh wow, that's a good enchantment. They're, they're made of arthropods. Wait, are shulkers weak to arthropod, arthropods enchantment? Cause I don't know. Okay, let's wear this diamond armor. Good shit, right here. Oh god. So you guys probably wondering why is there a waypoint in here? So I will explain it to you guys. So like I said earlier, I was wandering this ultra space dimension and found like countless of end city structures. And this one that I found had an end ship on it. And you guys all probably know that means it means it has whole light elytra on it. So I fly on the top of the ends on this structure and put a waypoint on it. But don't worry, I haven't checked the loot yet. So yeah, even though I already got Neuvern, I, st I still find it fun to glide around the map when using an Elytra. So the only problem is, is I think the end ship is- oh wait, I forgot, uh, there's a minimap right here. Okay, just gonna keep falling. Okay, we're in the middle of the end ship right now. So what annoys me the most in this dimension is that there's like feather effect, feather falling effect. And it's really, really annoying. Not gonna lie. Okay, there it is, the end ship. Okay, nice. Let's get down. Oh, I could probably use this to, you know, take some items in here and use it for building. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, let's get the... Okay, there's... Okay. So far, so good. There's no mobs in here. Which is actually pretty good. I don't have to deal with this. Okay, let's get. Uh, I'm gonna get the Elytra. Finally, Elytra. Okay, I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test this. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna use that. Oh, wait. That item looks. Prism. Oh. Oh, if only I have Hoopa. I can use these prism bottles to change Hoopa's form into Unbound Hoopa. You know, the. Really giant Ginny and has four arms on it. So, yeah, oh, yes, also got some good loot in there. Oh, diamonds, nice. Mm. 
Uh, I'm gonna sell the star gem and take the shovel. I kinda don't need the diamond boots since the only vanilla mobs on this mod mod pack is the shulkers. Now let's get back to the overworld and teleport to home. Nice. So I also forgot to tell you guys that I actually caught a Laritar and I'm going to try to evolve it to Triranitar and also I found a, a really annoying bug when riding he, Nihiligo. So every time you jump using Nihiligo, you will take full damage. I don't know why but I'm not going to use Nihiligo to, on my team since it's 4 times weak to ground type since this Pokemon is poison and rock type, which is really bad. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have I have to go back to the to the abandoned Pokemon Center in the middle of the oceans too, since I'm gonna demolish it and use it on my lab when building my lab. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you how the bug really works. Oh. Oh, see, it's it glitches. So I'm now in the abandoned Pokemon Center and also defeated two Mega Emperor bosses and should probably start demolishing this structure.
So I just finished demolishing the Poké Center and should probably get back at adventuring right now since there might be a good place I can encounter with some new structures on it. And before I should do that, I should probably put my items on this chest since uh, pretty much my whole inventory is full of blocks from the Poké Center. Okay, I kind of need an anvil, so I will crap one. Okay, let's crap three iron blocks of iron. Okay, need one over here. Okay, good. Okay, time to put some four iron ingots, and now we get an anvil, a different ang anvil. <laughs> so, uh, nice. It's actually pretty good now. So while flying with my neighbor and I found this boat in the middle of the ocean and found some good loot on it too as well as some good furniture that I could use for my laboratory. And at the end of my render distance I can see a giant Magikarp structure and this could reference to the Team Rocket Magikarp submarine and this could be probably some kind of good loot on it too so I'm gonna check it out. Oh man I can't believe there's there's they also add this structure and the oh okay nice i could use i could use this one this furniture right here okay we got some shell veil i'm gonna take that oh okay we got some ice okay good room good rock <laughs> good what the fuck is my what the fuck's wrong with my pronunciation okay i'm gonna take that mystic water already got some fishing rod on my back at my place I, uh, oh yeah, I could use some 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 of this structure if I got some if I got a rotom on me. I could use the furniture to change rotom forms, like washing machine, some refrigerator, and and a lot more of rotom rotom forms. Wait, is that what I think it is? Oh, it is a super rod. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Okay, nice. I'm gonna take this as well. <laughs> Pretty nice in here, actually. Uh, I'm not gonna demolish this. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the base. Oh yeah, forgot. Uh, never mind the base. Uh, I'm just gonna keep. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys while adventuring. Using my Neuburn, I actually found a uh, ocean monument, and I was planning to to you know uh, go inside of it. But I remember that I should just wait for it and maybe craft some water breathing. Wait, I don't need a water breathing bottle since Swampert can use. I can just use Swampert to give me some oxygen. So yeah, I could just go to the ocean monument and use Swampert so I can breathe underwater and get the sponge over there and also some gold too. Actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie, this climb is actually pretty cool and I do hope so that I can find a new villager because if I did, you know, you already know what will happen. I'm gonna name it Village 5. Hmm. I wonder, oh, a Pokemon Center, huh? Nice. Okay, Tick Club, that's worthless. Uh, I'm just gonna sell it or just put it in my chest. Okay, let's see here if this... Ch uh, also, oh yeah, I forgot, I also need to heal all my Pokemon too, since Pikachu is pretty beat up. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. I also need to make a bulk uh, enchantment station so I can just enchant it my gear too. Uh, never mind this new chest. Oh yeah, I need to put a waypoint in here too. To uh, okay, let's ready to demolish. But this time I'm, I'm not gonna show you the 
the time lapse and how I destroyed the Poke Center. Since I already got, I already show you the the one I actually demolished on the ocean. The one that has three poke uh, healer on it. So yeah, I'm not gonna show it to you guys. Uh, hopefully I can find some good uh, Hopefully I can find some village in here Okay, oh wow, that's a pretty cool biome right there Huh some violet flowers. That's actually pretty cool, you know so, Oh, fi oh finally god damn. I've been waiting for so long Finally found a good billet. Uh, ow. <laughs> okay, never do that uh, Finally Okay, time to name it Village 5. Finally, okay, adjust the uh, height so I won't get suffocated. Okay, time to heal up my Pokemon even though my Pokemon are fully healed. So I just got back from exploring. I must say I'm pretty darn tired from all this adventure. Oh yeah, I also forgot to tell you guys that I got the necessary materials to make a nether portal. I kind of curious what the nether would look like. And does it have a Pokemon in that dimension? I'm gonna try it. So yeah, I'm gonna try the, the speed running nether making portal. So yeah, I'm 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 gonna try how how, how the speed running will do it. I'm kind of curious how did how those guys do it. I must say, this is pretty hard.
Okay, I'm pretty all. I almost got it. Just so close at me. Okay, finally done. Okay, let's go back to the base and oh, okay, boss camera. Oh, it is. Okay, nice. Okay, there's like a mega evolution camera right here. Okay, let's hit the hit the hit box on this. Okay, I'm kind of pretty uh, kind of laggy right now. Okay, nice. Level 11. What the fuck is this level? Easy. Okay, let's get the plate and steel and light the portal now. You know, I, it real it really took me like a lot to build this nether portal. No, I'm I'm actually <laughs> not good at making portals, but maybe I will keep trying to to master this technique technique. So I must say it's pretty interesting. It's my first time making that that portal, that kind of portal. Oh yeah, uh, okay, I, okay, do I have a, oh, I have to go back to the cave to find, if I remember, I actually make a waypoint about the, uh, okay, nice, okay, there it is, just what I needed, okay, oh, wow, okay, that was easy, Tr four flint, nice. Just what I needed. Let's go back to the base and crap ourselves some flint and steel. Let's put it right there and right there. We got a flint and steel. Nice. Just what I needed. Okay, let's put all my le leaves right in the chest. And oh yeah, I also forgot to put my shears on here. So I don't need it. Holy shit, I'm so excited for this. Okay, sprint! Light the portal on fire! Okay guys, we're finally in the nether portal. Oh wow. I didn't expect that. It's actually pretty cool in here. They're, they have their own nether uh, biomes too. So there's like a blue fire in here. Are, are you sure that this isn't what 1.12 birch, birch one? What is this? Okay, what is this? File of Ashes. That's actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna cut the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I must say I did enjoy making this video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So you get updated for more awesome videos. And see you guys on the next episode. Peace!